Greeting students and welcome to unit three, lesson one, chapter opener. So you have successfully finished the addition and subtraction unit and we are moving on into multiplication. Now today's lesson uh, is a little bit uh, more brief. The video is a little bit more brief um, as we're mainly reviewing things that you learned in second grade. And so here I have an image of some spiders and the question says, how many spider legs are there? And so we want to make sure that as we move into multiplication, we understand um, how multiplication works. Now, it is important that you begin memorizing your multiplication facts if you've not already been doing so, but it's important that you understand how it works. We don't want you just to memorize things, but we want you to have good math sense and make sure that you understand why math works, and why it's a beautiful thing. Math is truly wonderful when you begin to understand it and you can understand complicated and confusing things. And so that's our goal here. So we have three questions down here. So the first one is says write an answer or write an addition sentence to help you solve this. All right. So we want to come up with an addition sentence that would help us solve this. So what we see here is that we have spiders, and as we probably likely know, spiders have eight legs, right? And so there are four spiders, and they have eight legs. And so a way to solve this is to think. Well, how many spiders do I have? I have four. And how many are each of those groups? Well, the answer would be eight. So what we would do is we would do eight. This is an eight. This is an eight. This is an eight. And this is an eight. Now, so we have four eights. Eight, 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 eight. So if we wanted to, to solve this, we would say that we wanted to go eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, all right? So four eights all added together, all right? Now, uh, next down here says fill in the blanks to write a, uh, a write this, uh, make this sentence true. And so this is supposed to be, uh, there are blank groups of blank, okay? So there are how many groups? So when I look up here, are there eight groups or are there four groups? So when I look at this, I see that there are four groups. One, two, three, four. So there are four groups and each group has how many in it? Each group has eight. So there are four groups of eight, okay? Be careful that you don't get these two things uh, switched around to think that there are eight groups of four, right? Eight groups of four would be like eight cats and you're counting the amount of legs, all right? You get the same answer, but you're not thinking about it correctly. So here we have four spiders. Each of them represents a group. So there are four groups and in each group, there are eight. And so how many spider legs are there all together? Well, again, we can do this a number of different ways. We can think of eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus eight is 32. Or we could think of four groups of eight, all right? We could count up by eights, eight, eight, 16, 24, 32, all right? Or as we start to get into it, we'll be able to use multiplication. We'll memorize that four times eight equals 32. But the answer right here is, 32. All right. You'll have a very similar assignment um, to begin working on now. So good luck on that. Thank you for your attentiveness. And I look forward to next time. Have a great day.